Advice for people at a large audition. How are you conducting yourself? How are you kind of staying in your own space when you can see all the other actors that, oh, they're going to get it over me, and you're, you're starting to, the tapes are, <sighs> old tapes are going in the head. Yes. How do you stay in your own zone? How do you focus? How do you conduct yourself? For one thing, you, I never try to start a conversation with any other actor. There's an actress that um, I don't see around so much anymore, but I used to see her a lot, and she works. She worked a lot, and I work a lot, and she knows I do. And when we see each other in an audition, could be me, could be her, could be one of the other 10 people if you're, t if you're talking about a big one. But she always starts talking to me. And she's, she's, I mean, she's not a bad person, but we're not friends by any st stretch of the imagination. And I'm not really interested in her life, and I'm sure she's not really interested in mine. But she chats me up. And it's a way of kind of distracting me from what it is that I need to focus on. So the, there's a process. And Actors should respect the process. You don't go in chatting away. You don't talk to other actors in full voice. If you have someone that you know that you've seen, that it's nice to see them again, you give them a hug and whatever, and then you give them their space. And, um, and you do not make phone calls. You do not, you know, you don't, you don't make a lot of noise in the room. I always try to find a place um, off you know, walk in the hallway. I like to stay on my feet rather than sit for the most part. Um, uh, sometimes the area in which you're waiting is kind of restrictive, but I always try to find a space of my own. And the, the one thing that is hard to get rid of are the tapes that run in your head that you referred to, you know, that, oh, they're going to get it, oh, this or that. The, you do not know. You, none of us know who's going to get it, or why they got it. Unless it's, you know, oftentimes you get a job because you look the part. You know, if, if somebody, and sometimes it's decided before you even open your mouth in the audition. You walk in the room and three people in the room have said, well, that, no, that's not who I see. You know, you could be brilliant. You could be Meryl Streep in, with your talent level, and you just don't look like what it is that somebody has their mind set on. You're not in that family of look. And so you're, you didn't get it, but you didn't get it before you spoke. So it wasn't your work that, you know, it wasn't your audition. It was something else. So you can't, it's very discouraging though, on those days when you walk in for, and everybody's dressed exactly like you are, you know, everybody in the room. And you see people who have done this before, people with more experience than you or less. And, but it, it's a, the audition is a real mind scrambler for many, many actors, even very, very talented actors. Dustin Hoffman, there's a famous story about him auditioning for uh, 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 the graduate and, um, and that little, when, when he does the seduction scene with Mrs. Robinson, you know, that little <laughs> <laughs> kind of sound that he made was the sound he made in his audition because he was so nervous, but it, but they liked what he did and they, and they used it, you know? So, um, and it, it's a, auditioning is a very hard thing because, because we put everything on it. We put all our eggs in that basket. And so, so it's, it's a difficult situation. But when you go there, in order to make it, it, you just respect the process. You let the other actors do their thing. If somebody's talking and you feel like it, ask them to quiet down. Or if you leave the room and you can, that's, that's fine. Um, but I often see a couple of actors just who haven't seen each other in a while, and they're just catching up and chatting like they're having coffee. And it messes with everybody else in the room because we're focusing on what it is that we want to do. And um, we'll make sure we get that done in the room. So it's, again, it's just common courtesy. You used a phrase earlier, which I wish I had used, and I think I did actually use it in the book, the acceptable level of discourtesy that this is so prevalent in this town. And so it's just do unto others as you would do, they did unto you. You know, be quiet, let them have their space. Don't, don't, 
muck about with it. Just do your job. And then with the cast casting director, how are how are you conducting yourself? Like suppose they're like, you know, okay, Robin next. You yeah. Know, and you you come in, you slate your name or Well, I always like to try to ask a question. It makes it finds even if you don't really have a question, ask a question because it allows you to be yourself and say, and what about this moment? And they get to see you, it, you know, it, it, now here, are you going for, is, is she really, does she mean don't come back again or, or not? You know, ask them something so they see a little bit of who you are naturally. And it breaks the ice in the room a little bit. And you're not just the dancing monkey that comes in. <laughs> <laughs> to do the, to, you know, to behave for them, to perform for them. So you take a little of the space for yourself and do your thing. And then it's over. Are you thanking them and you turn on your heel and you're out the door? Yes. Okay. Thank no, you. No chit chat? No, no. Uh, if, they, if they start something, I'll say something. Sometimes I say, uh, do you want to see it any other way? And, um, but then... Uh, who told me? One of my New York agents said to me, don't ask him that. It implies that maybe you didn't do it right the first time. <laughs> so um, I, have, I, I must admit I've dialed back on the, do you want to see it any other way? But uh, I still ask the question sometimes. But it's generally, it's thank you very much. And uh, I still do ask sometimes. You sure. want to see anything else you would like to? Because I love to get direction. I love it. And listen, as an actor, if, you've, if somebody says to you, I want to see it another way, and they give you direction, count your lucky stars. Because that's a fabulous thing. Because if you can show facility for taking direction, if you can change what you did and follow their direction, you've just risen a little peg on their particular peg pole <laughs> of, uh, of what you have to offer. You know? Right. Because they realize that that's going to be you on set if they choose Yes, mm -hmm. if, 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 yeah, and that you can see things another way. And I, I, sometimes I will go in and say, you know, I've made some, they'll, sometimes they say, do you have any questions? And I will, if I, if I am pretty solid on the selections that I've made, I'll say, no, I just want you to know I've made a choice about how it is I'm going to do it, but if you want to see it any other way afterwards, I'm happy to do that. And then I do my thing. And then uh, sometimes they ask to see it another way, and sometimes they don't. And sometimes I get the job, and sometimes I don't. 